it takes about three months to six months before conspiracy theory becomes fact. Then it took a, a couple of weeks, and now it's within mere hours of conspiracy theory becoming fact and not fiction and not something conjured from the back of our minds, de delusionalized and trying to disinform society. Well, here it is, folks. We talked about this many times. We need to bring this up because my body, my choice is very selective on what it works for. We're going through this abortion thing. My body, my choice is back in full front. When it was to give us um, these chemical treatments or whatever you want to call them, you don't have a my body, my choice. And then you go back. We've been saying this for, for almost a year and a half, two years on the channel. If you heard it somewhere else, because somebody got it from here. All right, let's go back here and talk about what we are, what, what, what is happening. Neuralink competitor Synchron launches human trials for the first commercial brain computer interface. So what is this? This is exactly what we were talking about on Mike in the Night. Mike in the Night, Digital Soul, We Need Your Soul, The Dangers of Transhumanism. And then if you want to find other uh, episodes of Mike in the Night, you need to go to Odyssey, and there's a playlist of Mike in the Night episodes. And we specifically discuss the engineer shortages that are coming up. We specifically discussed the Digital Soul and all kinds of other things you could find here on episodes of Mike in the Night. And it goes on and on and on because we've been banned off a lot of a lot of YouTube channel. I mean, we've been off banned off of YouTube many times. So if you want to catch replays of Mike in the Night, go ahead and check it out on Odyssey. Okay, so what's going on? Well, Ethan Huff is reporting this. Usually, he's always ahead of the curve when it comes to things like this. And natural news, human beings are about to be merged with the cloud in a new clinical trial involving brain-machine interfaces. Synchron, a computer, Elon Musk, Neuralink uh, Corp. You guys remember that. We did a whole mic of the night because of this. Just enrolled the first patient in the United States-based clinical trial. If, if successful, the company could soon receive regulatory approval for wide use in the human population. Funded by the National Institutes NIH, the government agency where Tony Fauci works, of all places, right? Synchron's trial will manipulate the human brain with a uh, stenodrode device, which will supposedly allow patients to control digital devices without their hands. So we're in this taking of the digital soul age. They're taking it. They want it. They want If you don't think you have a soul, then good for you. That's your problem. But I know I have one, and I know a majority of the people that watch this channel know. Spiritual, right? Not religion. Spiritual. Very different. Okay? So they've been wiping the slate clean with any means possible to get us on their initiative or their bandwagon. Don't give up on what you believe in because someone says they think they know something. Because someone will always say they know something. But just thinking about controlling something, the stereodrome modified person can perform various tasks. Both Synchron uh, and Musk have been working towards this goal for many years. With Musk, it started with just pigs. Remember that? We did a whole mic of the night about that, about the pigs. We played the video. We went over it. And this is how it starts. But ended there. As the company is still looking for a director to run the human trials, this is despite uh, raising $205 million just last year for the project. Synchron, mean, uh, meanwhile, is altering the, uh, the human brain with just, uh, with just $70 million total, beating Musk to the punch. So what is it, $70 million to, to alter a human brain? I'm, wow, that's a lot of money. People starving all over the world. Musk and other te uh, technocrats want to run, turn humans into AI robots. So this is something that's not new. But brain-computer interfaces, BCI, are being touted as the way to empower. Again, people are always going to be telling you things because they think they know or because they have proof or because it says so. You believe in your heart and your soul and what you want. Never tell, never, never have anybody tell you what is what is what and what isn't what. But when they're telling you this stuff, they're putting you on, they're, they're introducing you to a world of hurt. 
disabled people to easily communicate and engage in the same activities as non-disabled people. The implants, according to technocrats like Musk, could allow those who receive them to develop super intelligence right there. Also known as artificial intelligence or AI. The Synchron's device, once in, uh, implanted, travels to the brain through the blood vessels. Neuralink, Neuralinx is implanted directly into the skull. Blood-brain barrier. Remember, folks, we talked about that many times. The blood-brain barrier. Reported, uh, blue, uh, reported Bloomberg quaint about the technology after it reaches the brain. The stenotrode translate brain activity into signals designed to allow texting, emailing, online shopping, and other activities using an external device. So what if you dream about something and you end up having it at your door three days later? I mean, it doesn't... So there it goes. It goes into more uh, synchronizing and what they're working on and how they're working on... Oh, there's an important part right here. Sorry. Uh, following this trial, the company hopes to expand it to a larger one before uh, one before getting the FDA's rubber stamp approval. Then, in the next few years, the device would hit the consumer market. There it is. It's it, it, they're just trying to get this very shortly and uh, getting it out there to the public. We don't need this. We don't need any of, it, of this. So this uh, opens up from Business Wire. Synchrom announces enrollment of first patient as U.S. Uh, and Endeavor Skull. Uh, um, Brain com computer interface endeavor endeavor sec secular brain computer interface study command in patients with um, severe paralysis. So there it is right there, and it goes into great detail. We already discussed most of it there. And Bloomberg, this is actually banned from my region, so I had to open it through a different way. The first commercial brain computer interface is entering human trial. So there it is right there, and that is fourth of May. Um, uh, from yesterday, it was at yesterday's date. So there it is right there, clinical trials. And I can't get it here in Canada. And this is something we've been talking about. This transformation, the digital soul, is something we have been talking about here on Mike in the Night. You can go and get back uh, episodes of Mike in the Night on Odyssey. We have an entire Let's go back up to the top here. Whoa, lots to back to the top. We have an entire playlist here with I don't know how many I think two, three hundred videos that we found. And if you go to Brighteon, you could find other episodes of Mike in the Night where we're, you know, it's good to backtrack to some of these discussion pieces and what they were thinking back then and what they were mobilizing back then, right? We're, they're moving us into this digital age. We've already passed the information age. We're going into a digital information implement injection phase, right? And they're trying to do it through various means. All I have to say, guys, is believe in what you feel is right. Believe in what you perceive that makes you happy. Everyone's going to have something to say. Everyone's going to have proof of everything. But it's always somebody said something. Or somebody paraphrases something. Or somebody takes something and takes it out of context and uh, to diminish your life or make you feel unworthy you're not you're loved and you are loved beyond more than you can imagine all right guys so don't fall for this this is just this is just humankind repeating itself through cycles let me know what you guys think in the comments below this whole movement towards and this whole my body my choice flip-flops worse than a, than a, than than a, the suffocating fish on the galley of a fisherman's boat that sounds pretty cool hopefully a big channel can take that and run with it mike martin's here i have spoken